Hey guys, Swabby League here today, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people said there was a leftover road here. This was originally, I believe it was actually an exit uh, over to there, wasn't it? I just never got rid of it, so we don't actually need this here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, good. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Right, so we're going to buy a new plot of land, and you guys rem reminded me that I was actually going to buy the one over here, so we could do our shipping uh, lanes and all that kind of stuff, so we're going to buy that. 21,000. We can afford that. Easy. Alright, so, and then, so we just unlocked airports as well, so we'll have a look at that. Now, we should be able to put in a shipping yard somewhere around here. Uh, that's my cargo harbour. So yeah, we can put it all along here by the looks of it. And we can put it up here. I probably want it as close as I can get it to... Because we have, a, okay, so we have, um, industrial there. And the other one's all the way over there, and then the other one, then there's one there. So this could be, uh, maybe, maybe on the tip though. No, I don't want to put it on the tip. I'm going to put it here. It's going to go right there. And now let's figure out how we want to connect this up. Because we probably want a bridge around here somewhere. Just a regular bridge, not a special one. Um, I'm actually going to do it probably, hmm. So, I don't know. Oh, I wish you could... Cause, cause we're, basically, what I'm trying to figure out is we're going to have a lot of traffic going here. It's going to be the similar sort of thing, having a lot of traffic going to our train station as well. So, actually, what we should do is build a cargo train station around here. Oh, and the other... Oh, there's so many things to do. The other thing is, yeah, I should... Uh, can I'll, I'll connect up my train line to the outside world, uh, which is about there. So, I don't know how I want to connect it. The reason we want to do this, and uh, I did know this, I just didn't do it. Uh, was if we connect it up to the outside world, then we can have tourists uh, come visit our city, and we can also have our citizens sort of leave the city. The only thing I don't want to do, let's just do that, so that's all connected up, right? It's all good. Yeah, the only thing I don't want to do is connect or have any cargo stations on the passenger line. And the reason I don't want to do that is because I, I did that once before in one of my cities, but then you get a hundred million trains trying to use the same train line, and just, like it becomes really, really hectic. Uh, so... That's why I, I like to keep my cargo and passenger lines separate uh, as much as I can. But that should be fine. So we just connected that up to the outside world. That should all be good. Now, we don't own that plot there. That's annoying. I wonder if I can sneak a road down this way. Probably just use a regular road. It'd be fine, I would imagine. So we're going to bridge it across. There you go. And then this will go down there. And should just go ahead and connect up to the industrial. Uh, probably around there. That'll be fine. That can go both ways there. And that will come straight across. And that will go over to our shipping area. Now, what I want to do is probably go about there. Because I want to go straight across. I think I might actually want to go above this. So actually go past it a little bit. Um... Like that, and then come down over this way. First of all, that looks so smooth. Like, that's such a smooth, like, coming down. But, anyways, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like going straight to the cargo area would have been really, really busy. But, I don't know. Um, so, let's go, like, this. Oh, that's, a, that's a sharp turn. Ooh. There we are. And then... I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I feel like I felt like that was going to be a good idea. I don't think it was. Just well, I mean, it's not a bad idea. It just was an unnecessary idea. I'm going to move that out of the way because I want to connect this up to this area. Uh, what we should do as well, after actually, we'll go straight underneath the train line there, so it's not in the way. Um, what we should do as well is make sure that heavy traffic is banned in this little suburb here because I don't want. Trucks coming through this way. Okay, that's not that's no good. I don't want trucks coming through this way. Um, so let's just go straight this way, maybe. There we go, and there we go. Uh, so what district do we have here? Uh, what I should do is make sure it's not on this area, though, because that's where I do want heavy trucks. So let's make sure it's not on that bit. Just over here so that they can't use a suburb to get through. So that is my Maple Park. Uh, so I'm going to go heavy traffic ban. We don't want any trucks driving through this area because I just want them to go there and then go back again. Now, I want to connect this up to the other industrial area as well. I'm wondering if we should do 
No, I was wondering if we should have done like a highway there. I don't think we. I don't think highway is necessary. But uh, we'll see how we go. Because I mean, there's undoubtedly going to be a lot of traffic trying to use that. But we'll, you know, we'll we'll uh, address that problem when we get to it. Okay, so that's going to go straight across. Okay, that's why did I build that way? Why is it curving that way? Anyways, that's weird. <laughs> oh, I've just done the same thing. <laughs> right, so I want to go straight ahead. I want to run more or less. Oh no, hang on. Let's like look where that where where I have to go. So about there, and then now we go straight ahead. But we go up. I want it to be similar to that sort of road there because I think that looks quite nice. So that's going to go straight across to there. I'm going to adjust that rail. Uh, oh, did not mean to do that. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> ah. Gotta love a little bit of Skylines. A little bit of Skylines mistakes, gotta love them. And there we go. Okay, so that's fine. So that just goes straight across now. No worries. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with this space. I don't know. That was just kind of how it ended up happening. And this is gonna continue on... I think we'll have this road on the other side of the train line. Instead of running kind of parallel to it. Just because, I guess. Just because. There we go. So this is the road that I imagine, or I suspect, we're going to get trucks using. I wish you could, like, micromanage the uh, the speed limit on certain roads, because... I mean, what's the speed limit of this road? Speed 40. 40, 40, 40. I think these are all 40. And then these ones are 50, so it's a little bit faster. And then there's a 60, and then I get those as... Oh, wow, 100, okay. Yeah, so they can only go 40 down this road. It's not going to be fast, but that's just, you know, we gotta we got to deal with it, you know? That's, can't have it... Can't have it... Uh, can't have a perfect world all the time, you know? Uh, so we want to go to about there, because we want to stay above, so we can go above that train line. Like that. Oh, well, I might as well I might as well copy the train line by staying up above. Although I probably oh, no 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 we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to stay up because I don't. I'm just going to join it onto this road. Um, no no, no I want to keep that. I'm going to join it onto this road here, like that. There you go. So that will allow them to sort of drive express route down there. But yeah, being able to micromanage the speed limit would be really nice because that would actually be really helpful. Oh, that was actually a mod. Damn, I saw a mod last night when I was going to bed. I was just checking my phone. Um, and I was like on Reddit. I was like, oh, that's a really really useful mod. Uh, can't remember what it was, but I <laughs> I know I wanted it. Uh, now let's make sure that this district does not impact this road at all. Because uh, I want them to be able to drive there without a problem. Okay, that's all good. Let's make sure it's got water and power, which it probably doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, but what we can do, because they want more commercial anyway, so we might as well just add a commercial sector here, I guess. There we go. Alright, yeah, I know it's got no power, but hopefully if those guys build there, it should connect up. Yeah, there you go. Easy. Right, so we should start seeing some people coming down that way. Uh, the only problem with this is, I guess, people from the region, um, if they want to get there, they have to go into this industrial area and go around that way. Well, I guess what we could do, instead of making them go all the way up into it, just have a road that goes straight across. Um... So, this, yeah, it'll just cross the rail, railroad. It doesn't need to go above it. That's fine. Uh, so, it's, if those people are just wanting to get to the uh, the shipping yard, that should be fine. There you go. Beautiful. See if anyone uses this road yet. No one's using my new road. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple of guys. Are they going to the uh, exporting ore products? Yeah, so it must be going to the, uh, the shipping area. Oh, God, this road is slow. Yeah, this is a whew, this slow. Might have to upgrade this to like an avenue kind of road because this is this is maximum speed right here. Uh, so real time we're going like this, max speed we're going like that. <laughs> Train is faster. Yeah, I think we'll upgrade that road. That is really really slow. I just didn't want a big road. Like I wish you, that's why I wish you could have like a fast small road, but you can't really, can you? Um, because it doesn't have a lot of traffic on it, so it doesn't need to be big, but making it big allows it to go faster. Now, hopefully I didn't build this too close to anything, so hopefully it won't be a problem. 
Oh, look at that beautiful bridge as well. That's nice. Uh, that should allow them to go faster. Um, we'll probably add some connections to the suburban area as well. Ah, oh, too close to the train station. Damn it. So close to being perfect there. Oh, I almost had it. And I'll just connect on that. There you go. Right, so now they should be able to go a little bit faster down that way. It's only, I think it's only 50 on that, isn't it? But it's still a little bit faster than 40, so that will make it a little bit quicker. We can always upgrade it again if we really want to. Um, what we might do is connect through there. I, see, I don't want to have a level crossing. Can I go above it? Oh, I can actually. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. It's a little bit steep, but it works. And people might want to use it, so that's always handy. Right, so there's a lot of demand for, like, industrial. So we might actually just zone some offices here, because nobody's building there anyways. Except for that one guy. Go away. <laughs> this business will get, like, destroyed in a second. Uh, let's see. Look how tall he built as well. He's like, oh, yeah, this is going to be really good. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> and that's it. Right, okay, so that's all good. I think just that one connection there will probably be fine because that's all just suburban and they can connect there anyway. Yeah, we got a nice little bit of traffic flowing down this way actually, so that's good. A lot of traffic backing up there on that road. But uh, I guess that's what you get with a four-way intersection and lots of traffic. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. Um, what we should also do is get a, a harbour because people love it because that means they can go on holidays as well. Um... I would like to put it out in the tip, but there's nothing out here yet. Because obviously we're going to have to build out this way. Well, we don't have to, but we should. Uh, is that So is that, that's the only shipping lane I can use, right? I don't think there's any anywhere else. Not even out this way. Nope. Um, I guess we'll just put it next to here for now. I might move this later on, but for now it'll go right there. Makes those guys happy. <laughs> There you go. And I go straight across. Oh, that's not the right road. There you go. Actually, that's probably got no water either. There you go. That should have power though, so it should be alright. Alright, so there's my cargo ships doing the, uh, the old J-turn. <laughs> Handbrake turning it into the, uh, the old harbour. That's all good. Oh, Nancy Heights. What a nice place to live. This will actually be a useful road, because this will be sort of right in between a couple of suburbs. That might actually have to become a highway. Actually, no, it should be fine. Like, I think that will be fine because as long as we don't do too many more intersections on it and just keep it as a connecting road more than a, anything else. Uh, anyways, they want a lot of uh, offices. So I might actually, we were going to expand over there, but I think, oh, that's got no water. I think we'll expand a little closer to this area because I want to fill out this knob, like the secondary knob. Um, and then what we will do is we'll use this road. There's a little starting off point for a new main sort of road going through here. Now this is going to go straight down there. What we're going to need to do, I think we're going to raise up this train line and I think we'll raise up this highway as well so we can build everything under it. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. Get rid of this whole line going through here. And get rid of this as well. Make sure it's all raised up all the way through. So that we can build all our roads underneath it without a problem. So that's going to go straight across. Oh, hang on. Let me get a good view of this. Okay, straight across, but up. There you go. And straight across. And you don't want to connect. Oh, there you go. But then it brings it down. So let's bring it all the way across to there. And then go across. Beautiful. Okay, so that should be fine. Yeah, it's all good. Alright, so now we need to do the same with these. Get rid of these highways, raise them up, and we should be good. Now let's uh, keep in mind that we can't reverse the direction of highway bridges for whatever reason, so make sure that we get them right the first time around. Okay, that's going to go over to here, but it's going to go up. Beautiful. It's going to go to there. Beautiful. And we'll do the same over here. And across and up. I should probably want to go up a little bit earlier than that. No, maybe not. 
Well, let's, actually, let's go to the same point as that one, just so we have the same bridge happening. To, to there, and to there. It's all good. Okay, now we just connect these up with a beautiful sweeping curve. Oh, that's like perfect. Almost, I think. Maybe. That is definitely not perfect. Nope. How about a smaller? Nope. Is it just going to keep doing it wrong? Nope. Nope. Whatever. Yeah, it just like... Yeah, the freeform just sort of moves it where it wants to move it, which is kind of annoying actually. So let's use this one. About there maybe? No. See, this one sort of fixes that point in place. Which is useful. Whatever this tool is called. There you go. That's a little bit better. I mean, they're not... Oh, okay. Well, that's really bad. That's the first one I did. So let's get rid of that one. Let's try that again. Uh, so this is going to go to about there, maybe. Yeah, it's close enough. It's a little bit wonky, a little bit of a sharp whoop, turn, but that's all good. Okay, so now that's done, let's get in our boulevards. Uh, so this is going to be like kind of another dense city area. What we should do with this, oh that's actually beautiful that that fits perfectly underneath in that angle. What we should do over here is actually add in a train station, I think. So I'm going to have to bring the train line over there, but we've got that road in the way. Oh, maybe we don't need, no, I see, I've... No, maybe we don't need to, maybe if we just get an adequate subway here that connects up to those train stations, we'll probably be fine. I think, I think, I think we need to, uh... I don't think we need to mess with that, actually. Um, alright, then this can go... Maybe we'll connect up to that. No, see, that's too close to the other connection, though. I don't want to have loads of intersections over there. What we might do is go to there and have this one. Yeah, I'll have this one go to that way a little bit, maybe? I don't know. That should be alright. Um, can this go under? Go under there, but I think there's some things in the... Oh, actually, it should be able to go under here if we get the right spot. Oh, I think that's too low is the problem. Yeah. Kind of annoying. Uh, well, I guess that doesn't need to connect. That can just go this way. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, do we need... We probably need another road out here. Maybe if we get one that sort of goes around the edge a little bit. Or not, because there's pillars right in the way. Thank you. We go this way a little bit, just nag it around them. Okay, that's, that built a bridge there for some reason, which I don't want to do. There you go. All right, and then this can just not build a bridge. No, stop, stop building bridges, dude. Stop building bridges and getting over it. Just don't. Um. This can go further down this way and join onto there, I think. Uh, yeah, so that should keep this road pretty good because there's only a couple intersections on it. And I think these will be, should be adequate enough uh, to take care of traffic around there. Um, I'm wondering maybe we should have a road there. <laughs> Oh, actually, wait, why Why was I like, oh, we need to build a train line through there. We got, I mean, we got this train line, but I think that's, is that the regional train? Yeah, that's the regional train line. Um, why are there passenger trains on it? Because, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the problem. With, it's, I guess the passenger trains are coming up and going all the way. Yeah, look at it. Oh, look at all these trains coming in. This is what happens when you connect it to the region. There's like a billion trains that go around. Like, why would they send so many trains? I don't understand. There's just way too many. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense to have a train station here, because we have a train line coming through the city. I don't even... That didn't even cross my mind. I don't know. That just did not cross my mind in the slightest. Believe it or not. I'm sure you believe it, because you were here when it happened a few minutes ago. <laughs> All right, let's get this in. Like, I mean, it'd be kind of stupid not to, right? Like, this isn't going to be connected directly to our city service, I guess. But it'll be connected to the region. So, there you go. Anyways, I'm going to turn that off for now because there's nobody there. 
We might connect it up to the city, the city loop at some point, but not right now. Okay, so let's uh, get some water under here. Let's just do the whole, do the whole knob 2.0. This is knob 2.0 for sure. And actually, now that I've done this as well, I should get another, some more shipping yards around that area. That'd be a good idea. Let's go straight down the middle, down the middle of the knob. There we go. And then let's just do some more going down the middle. You don't have to connect the other ends of these, but I like to. I like to connect them up on both sides. There we go. Into there. Up to there. All good. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Looking, looking so good. Yeah, then we'll... So this is going to probably be heavily commercial. And like offices and all that kind of stuff in this area, I think. I don't know. I don't currently plan on doing lots of residential in this area. But we'll see. Now, of course, we should do an entrance and exit off the highway. I didn't think about that until just now. But we can easily just do one there. And so we'll, I think we'll have the exits here. And then we do the entrances from this road. That makes sense. Uh, although, actually, we should do it the other way around. Because we want them to enter the other way around. So this will be exit. No, we just did the same thing again. This will be the entrance, sorry. <laughs> and this will be the exit here. No, what am I doing? Wait. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I need to do it opposite, don't I? Yep, 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 yep. I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Then over here will be... Wait, no, that's the entrance. This is going to be the exit. All right, well, this is kind of going the wrong way. Whoops. Well, I guess we can just put a road through there, wherever it's going to be. It'll be about there somewhere. And this will be the entrance. There you go, and then we'll just have... I guess a normal road down here or something. Um, I don't know. Go to about there somewhere. And then next to the train line. Yeah, that works for me. Do the same thing over there. Good. Alright. That's all. It's all good. Get out of my way, doll. And... Nope, that's really bad. We might have to do a roundabout here later on if we get lots of traffic. But I don't, I don't think we're going to get... Well, we're definitely not going to get lots of traffic now. Uh, but anyway, so they can get on and off the highway into the city, onto this city area anyways. Uh, what we should do as well is get in some shipping lanes around here. We got, oh, airport as well. We've got to do that. Now, we can put one here. We're going to have to adjust that road and we totally will adjust it. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do cargo. We'll do, do another ferry sort of terminal thing there. Um, I actually guess it's alright if we have it on its own separate road. Because then it keeps all the traffic hopefully off the main road. Uh, let's do it the other way, actually. Let's go back here. There you go. So I'll just join onto there. Um, I don't think these generate tons of traffic like the other uh, sort of residential, not residential, the um, tourist things. But uh, I'll turn it off for now because there's nothing there right now. It's all good. Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing some offices and commercial. So now we're going to go... Straight this way, then straight that way. And then I'm going to go down to there. Sure, that looks good. Doing some beautiful grids. So, you know, it, it, you can you can do grids in cities like we are, but you just mix them up a little bit, you know? Doesn't all have to be the same direction of grid. Uh, about there, close enough. Okay, that's going to create a really bad intersection. So let's go that way. That'll be fine. That's actually going to go up that way. And then, I don't know, giant park there. Sure, we're going to do an intersection there as well, I guess, actually. Like that. That might create a lot of traffic, that tiny little intersection, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so this one, we actually want to go down like that. And this can actually just go up like that. And then, how big is the park that we can fit in there? Oh, that's pretty big. Cool. So we can do that. Right. Uh, so then we'll figure out, we'll do all the services in a minute. So let's get in, because I want a lot of industrial. So 
I guess we might as well just do it on this road as well. The only problem with this road currently is that it has the medium strip all the way down. Not the median strip all the way down. So if they wanted to turn around, they'd have to go to the intersection. But I don't think it should be too big of a problem. Anyway, there's all that because they want a lot of that. So that's all good. Get some commercial around here. I don't know why I didn't zone those areas. That's also all not zoned. Hmm. Look at all that. We sort of neglected all that. So let's get in that area. There you go. Are there any other spots? Yeah, there's that whole area there. But we might actually keep that just as a nice little woodland area. Don't have to zone everywhere. Um, now I'm going to do commercial down this road. Hopefully just so we can power up that park. <laughs> so we... Do we have some people? I think we, yeah, we have people using these highways. Like to enter the city, which is interesting. Make sure I do those roads the right way. So they can enter. And they can enter. They can enter that way. And they can exit that way. Good. Just making sure those are all correct. And they are. A lot of commercial demand. Well, you could just build along here. There's plenty of commercial zoning. But nobody wants to build, obviously. So go along there. Alright. That's all good. Ah, that's a nice new area there. Uh, we should probably... Do some zoning on this actually because I want to, what we'll do, we will, we might, we'll probably end up zoning residential here at some point. So what we'll actually do is, um, we'll zone it as tax raise for residential. So this will be like an expensive place to live if you wanted to, because it's like the commercial center of the city. There we go. Poplar Hills. Oh God. <laughs> Stupid name. All right. So we're going to go, uh, We'll do high-tech housing here for when there are big business and small business benefactors. That'll probably be expensive, but we are generating plus 45,000, so... Not exactly strapped for cash. Tax relief for offices. Uh, tax relief for high-density commercial. Tax raise for residential. Um, that's all good. I don't think the rest are good. Then what we'll do, we'll go... Parks and Rec boost. Uh, we'll go smoke detector distribution recycling. No, not smoking ban. We're not. I don't think we're going to really have many schools here if we do. I think that'll be fine. So we, we want this to be more commercially inclined, this area. So plenty of place for them to build offices. They're just they're a little bit slow on the, uh, the uptake. Now, as for the airport, um, well, we've got a highway connection over here. So... Maybe, well actually, where do they even get into the city? They have an entrance, why do we not have an entrance into the city over here? I don't know. We should probably have one here somewhere. I've got around to it, I guess. Uh, so we're actually going to go, oh, that's going to be it. See, I, if they want to, I don't want to do it there, do I? Um, maybe we'll do it around here, actually. That could be a good place for an airport. I mean, for now, it'll probably be kind of useless, because I guess people will use it, but, um. Wow, that's big. Uh, maybe we'll do it on this side. And... Yeah, let's just, let's just mess around with this. So I've seen some really cool designs for airports where people have sort of used multiple airports to make it look like a, a more realistic airport. So if we actually go like this... I don't know how big the airport is, so I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, that's not going to quite fit in there also because the slope is too steep. Uh, okay, so we can't do it there. If we, we can probably do it running that way, but we sort of need to do it more in the middle, I think. It's a little bit hilly here, but I think it should be okay if we do it around this area. Um, maybe even, can we fit it in here? No, see, it's too steep, but I think we would be able to fit it this way if there weren't a billion things in the way. No, it's, it does say slope too steep. Slope too steep. Might have to do it somewhere else. A lot of slopes everywhere. Slope is not too steep there. I don't know. Let, well, let's try and get it out here. Let's try and get it out this way. Because I would like it somewhat near the city. Uh, or the main city area. Um, let's just build a road this way. See if we can get it on here anyway. Nah, it's slope too steep. Oh, we can do one there. But it's like right in the way of the road. So not ideal. We could do one there, but again, it's kind of right in the way of that road. <laughs> Not ideal places. Oh, there's this one spot there. That could work. If we chuck it in... Can we do one on the other side? See, I would like... See, I don't know if I want it there, though, actually. I wonder if I can fit one... 
going... Uh, hang on, let's see. So if we build one... What if we build one going that way? Because I, I mean, I've seen these really cool airport designs, yeah, where people use sort of multiple multiples of them to make it look like a larger airport. But also, that's not going to fit there. That's the problem with this area. It's too, it's too hilly. Oh, that's what I saw. I think I saw a terraforming mod. Yeah, go away. Um, well, maybe we could find a better spot for it. Maybe see over here is also quite hilly, I think, but it's not actually as bad. I guess this wouldn't be too bad of an area because we got the highway there, and we'll probably connect up these two highways actually. Going across that way at some point. Um, oh, actually, we don't really need to. We got that highway. I don't know. Let's uh, let's see if we can fit it over here somewhere. So let's just build a road like that. Looks good to me. So we can fit it on here. Now, can we fit it if we go? Because what I want to try and do is try and get look like there's two airports. Can we fit another one over here? Oh, not two airports. Two runways. Oh, it can't go directly opposite it, but it can go right there. So maybe if we can move this one a little bit. Um, is that right? I can't tell. There? Or there? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. So you can get two runways like that, and then I want one running this way as well. So round about there. Is that going to be in the right spot though? So if we build a road there, I'll go this way. I don't know if it's going to be quite the right spot. Anyway, so we'll keep that road that it's attached to and then we'll, we'll figure out the logistics in a minute of how this is actually going to work. Um, oh damn, slope too steep. That's actually really annoying. Maybe we can fit it down this way though. Let's see if we can fit it on this side. Uh... Damn you, slope! Uh, hmm. Maybe we could fit it over this side, going that way. Might have to. We'll probably have to move that road, but if it works, that'd be good. Anyway, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of that little road there. We'll keep the road it's connected to, of course. Yeah, so that will go there. Just come out this way. That road is going to move. And see if it fits this way. Oh, it totally does. Cool. So we can do it this way, I think. I'll be alright, I think. Yeah, it's beautiful. Alright, then we just get rid of that bit. Keep those two connected. And then, have, actually, we can change this to one way, can't we? Don't know which way it's going, but... Yeah, so it's going around that way. So they go around one way that way. I wonder if we can um, change this into a curved road and have the airport still be connected to the road. Hopefully that's still connected. Because I don't know. Actually, I might, I might keep this road straight on this bit. And of course, I will flip that around. Okay, and then... <laughs> it's just that airport over there, but that's alright. Um, so this is basically the idea here is... It looks like a better airport than it really is. <laughs> that's, the, that's the purpose of this. So let's go this way. Because what I want to do is... Get that curve to come around here somewhere. We essentially want it to be kind of a roundabout system. Um... But obviously, without the roundabout, it's more of a square, square about. So if we do that, um, that should be fine. I guess it would have been more ideal if we moved this further that way, just so we could have that more on the road. <laughs> but I don't know. What we could do as well, we could do like a raised sort of reverse direction thing. I don't know, there's, there's lots of things that could be done. Now we're going to move this road because that's going to be... Right away. Um, oh, let's just go straight road. Connect onto there. Uh, oh, that's going the wrong way. There we go. So that goes around like that for the main airport. Then we can have 
the in, maybe over this side. I don't know, and then the out over here somewhere. Like this. Oops. Now, I don't know how much use we're actually going to get out of this airport. Maybe not much now because it's not really near anything. Oh, that's annoying. Let's just rebuild that again. And rebuild that bit again because that's awful. There we go. Then let's go for a... We're just going down this way and connect up those two. Uh, like this. Oh yeah, I wish you could connect these up to either side of the road just so it sort of flowed nicely. It's actually kind of not easy to connect these up whilst it still looks somewhat decent. That was not supposed to be straight road either. That was supposed to be a little bit more curvy than it was. There we go. Right, so that goes into the airport. Looking beautiful as ever. Uh, then what we can do is get, I don't know, get a little... See, ideally I guess I could make like a car park kind of thing in the asset editor. A asset editor. Get like a sort of car park. I think there are like multi-story, not multi-story, um, actually there might be, but I think there's like airport control towers and stuff people have made uh, that you can put like at the airports and that. What we should do is get a little fire department for the airport. I'll put it there. I'll put it there, there. Now to get to the other side of the airport, <laughs> namely that one over there, well, we can't bridge over the runway because that would not be smart. Uh, we can't do a tunnel, which would be how you'd actually do it. I guess we just need to go around this way, around the end of the runways. It's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it will do. Um, go that way, and then, actually maybe what we'll do actually was go Back like this. And I can join onto there. And then this bit will be two way. Like so. Alrighty. Might not be the smartest airport design in history, and it probably isn't. But, uh, well, what do you expect? There you go. It's a, it's a beautiful airport, though. <laughs> there you go. Airport! Now let's also fix up this road so we can actually use it again, because that is actually a useful road to get to the industrial area. Let's just chuck this back in. Let's go past the end of the runways. I wonder if that should connect on there or just have its own connection. Maybe its own connection there. Uh, no power and water, that is true. We could add their own, they can even have their own little power station there, how about that? Be powered by solar. Not solar, what am I saying? They could be powered by solar, but I meant to say wind. Uh, but that doesn't really make any sense, so let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. Like that. Over to this airport. Now as for power, we should be able to just go... Oh, it's going to be difficult because there's a highway in the, in the direct path of where I need to go. Go above the highway, or not. Go above the highway, there you go. Uh, can you... What? Why is it not selecting that one? I don't continue from there, thank you. And join onto... The, is that connected? Yeah, okay, so that's connected. Then for the other airport... I guess we probably want to go around here. So they're, they're going to fly close to the wires, but we should be good. There you go. What we're actually going to do is also shut that down. Wait till it's got power. Shut that one down. And we're going to shut that one down. Just have one of the airports on. There you go. Uh, now we should also... I guess we should have built a train station out here as well. That would have been useful. Yeah, that would be useful actually. That would be very useful. Train station there and then somehow connect that up and also a subway would also be useful uh but i think that's a job for another day um anyways we've got an airport it's coming in it's, it's coming along you know it's not looking too shabby we're getting oh, a lot of deaths everywhere oh geez we got our we yep yeah, we got our death wave 
Uh, everybody gets old and dies at the same time in this game. Okay, before I go, let's uh, make sure we have enough little crematoriums. Let's just get a load of them around here so we don't have to worry too much about it. Because, yeah, we got a death wave. Gotta be careful of those, they will sneak up on you. Everybody in that area is dying. These guys are okay. Although we could use a little crematorium down here somewhere, I think. How about right there to service that area? Um, maybe one around... Oh, well, we got one right there. Let's get one, another one over here. I want to make sure that we can get all those dead bodies out before it abandons all the buildings. Jeez, oh, look at them all. They're all dead in here. <laughs> uh, anyone using my airport? Uh, to be exact, we, we should see a plane come in soon. Oh yeah, there's a lot of dead people over there too. Yeah, they're all dying because we, we built it all around the same sort of time, so they're all dying at the same time. Uh, that's a nice little airport area. It's not, I mean, it's not the, the best, but I think I'll look into the um, uh, sort of airport mod buildings because there's like the, the sort of control tower and all that kind of cool stuff that you can grab. But yeah, I'm going to leave this part of City Skylines here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day. Bye.